Sparkles, what's up? To die, to die. <laughs> Today I will be finally customizing a LOL doll again. Y'all voted and Gamma Babe won. If you don't know, the perks of these videos are to not use a 3D printer or a sewing machine or a Cricut or other fancy machines. I only use easy to get crafting materials, so I can hopefully give you some ideas to spice up your dollies at home as well. Before we start, just make sure to like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel for the algorithm. But now let's get started on Gamma Bay. All right, here's the packaging of Gamma Bay. It's a huge box because she comes with two outfits and I can't wait to see her. So let's open it up, shall we? Opening the box was a little bit complicated. It even comes with a description on how to open it, but it still wasn't easy. First, we have these little slide photographs that can be inserted onto the stage of the box and some other things like the doll stand, a brush and some 3D glasses that you can wear to view the slides. It's such a cute feature, but we still haven't seen the doll. Let's get this box out. Oh my god, it looks like a VHS tape. That's so, so cool. And yep. Here she is, and she is even prettier than I would have ever thought. Let's get her out of the box and see what outfit pieces she comes with. First we have this little magazine that you can unfold and it describes Gamma Babe a little. Now let's get all of the boxes, accessories and doll out of the packaging. Here she is. I adore her hair and undergarments so much already, oh my god. The hair is super soft and has only little product in it, which I love. And yeah, here are the big 3D glasses that totally don't fit me because I have a gigantic hat. <laughs> what do we have here? Ah, oh, I think these are leg warmers you can put on top of her boots. And here we have a bunch of chrome accessories. They look so cool. I wish I was able to make such a perfect chrome finish at home. Next we have her boots. Ah, oh, they have glitter soles. And here we have two pairs of very sci-fi spacey sunglasses. This is a clear blue vinyl vest. And here we have the purple jacket that fits the leg warmers together with the shorts. The craziest thing is that the zipper actually works. <laughs> ah yes, and the fitting skirt to the vest. I love the holo stripes. All right, that was a lot. Let's see both of her outfits on the doll. First, we have the blue outfit with the boots and one pair of the sci-fi glasses. I adore the glitter and chrome effects and honestly wish I had this outfit myself. And here we have the second outfit. I also love this one, especially the jacket. I can't believe the zipper actually opens and closes the jacket in such a tiny scale. Also, I think the idea with the boot covers is amazing. For this video, however, I think I will only stick to the first outfit, because I must say that I like it a little more than the second one. It will be super difficult to try to make it better though, because these outfits are already pretty much perfect. But hey, let's try, right? First, let's bedazzle the vest with some rhinestones. The vest has been heat sealed instead of sewn and you can still see those points of melting, so I decided I want to cover them with some iridescent rhinestones. I just take some strong glue and apply it to the spots and then just press on the rhinestones. In hindsight, hot glue would have probably been an even better glue solution. Other than that, the vest is just beautiful as it is, so this one is already done. On the shoes, I will also just add some rhinestones. I just wanted to spice up this already super detailed and beautiful outfit and hey, everything is better with glitter and rhinestones, right? And yes, now the shoes have that very last tiny detail they needed to be just perfect, I think. And how about we give Gamma Babe some hands? Some hands? <laughs> we should give her some hands. How about that? <laughs> Pull yourself together, Elisa. Oh. And how about we give Gamma Babe's hands some nail polish? I love the robot hands, but it would be pretty cool if they had some nail polish. So I apply some black acrylic paint to them first, let it dry, and then add some varnish that I mixed with color-changing pigments. It gives such a cool effect. When they were all dry, they looked like this, and it's just so incredibly cool in my opinion. 
And to continue the rhinestone dazzling, let's add some rhinestones to the glasses as well. They had these empty circles on them and I had the perfect sized little stones to fit into the gaps. Yep, this is what they needed. I don't know, but I think these small details really make a difference. Since Gamma Babe is an alien girl, I think she really needs some antennas. I really like this retro antenna look on aliens, so I took my cosplay and rolled it out into a thin sausage first. Then I cut the length that I needed and insert a little cut of pinning needle so I can punch the antenna into the head later. I then just make a second one and bake them in my oven for 30 minutes. After baking, you can see they're still elastic, which is why I love cosplay so much. I now just cut the tip of them a bit pointier because I didn't make it pointy enough and slide on these little star beads. Perfect! I repeat the step a second time and then use my liquid silver paint to paint both antennas in a nice silver tone. After drying, I just gloss them over with a glossy varnish and we have some super cute silver alien antennas. While I was working on her outfit, I couldn't help myself but noticed that Gamma Babe didn't come with a handbag. So how about we make her one? I printed out this little planet shape on my printer and cut out the shapes with my X-Acto knife. I place it onto this translucent vinyl and trace the outlines with a water removable pen. That's good enough. The trickiest part will be to cut it out with an exacto, so let's just make a transition here to spare you seeing me suffer. In the end it looked pretty good though. I also cut out the outer planet shape from a sheet of thin clear vinyl as well. Then I place this clear shape onto another clear sheet of vinyl and will now heat seal both sheets together on the edges of the planet shape with my soldering iron, leaving a little space open on the top. You could also just sew this instead as well. Then you just need to cut out the shape with scissors and you should end up with something like this. The little vinyl sheet pocket is now ready to be filled with glitter. So I used some chunky glitter and stars and everything that I thought would look nice to put into the little pocket to create a shaker bag. When I was satisfied with the result, I can then heat seal the top and have a perfectly sealed shaker pocket. To place the purple planet on top of the shaker, I glued some tiny stripes of double faced tape onto the backside of it and now just need to remove the second vinyl to make it sticky again. And then I just glue both pieces together. You should do that very carefully though, because you want them to fit perfectly. Awesome! Okay, for the body of the bag, I will use this old tiny little bottle cap that I still had flying around and will first cut out a little piece of it so the bag has an opening later. I use some small wire cutters for that. Yep, that looks good. Time to cover the bottle cap with some iridescent purple pleather. I cut out a circle shape already and will use my trusty uwu glue to attach it to the bottle cap. And after that was dry, I can then cover the sides with a stripe of the same fabric as well. Fantastic! Now we can drill some holes into the cap for attaching a strap later. I just use my regular hand drill for that. And now I can attach some small rings to the body of the back. Okay, finally time to glue the front of the bag and the body together. I use hot glue for that because it kind of heat seals the vinyl and should hold onto it nicely. Ah, oh, it looks so good! But how about we cover the planet in glitter as well? For that I spread my PVA glue all over the purple planet shape and then sprinkle purple glitter onto the bag. I needed to do that one more time after because somehow the glue didn't want to spread so well on the surface. After covering everything in glitter and letting it dry, it looks amazing though. Final step, attaching this little silver chain to the back. And with that, we made Gamma Babe a really sweet little handbag. Not gonna lie, I kinda want this bag in human size now. Maybe I could do that sometime on my second channel. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, with the outfit done so far, it's time for her face up. Gamma Babe's original face up is very pretty already, but I want to make her fit my other LOL customs, so let's remove her factory paint first. I then also package her nicely and snuck into cling film and tissues to protect her hair and body and then spray her with MSC. 
As always, I'm adding some micro glitter to the face for some glow on the skin first, before going in with pink pastels to blush her face. It's a bit tricky to make the blush visible on deeper skin tones, but you just gotta layer it a little more. As you can see, I prepared a mock-up on Procreate, so I have some guidelines as to how I would like to paint her. And then it's time to sketch out the initial eye lines first. This is one of the steps that takes the most time, because you want the lines to map out exactly where you are going to paint with acrylics later. If you haven't already seen on my sketch, I will give Gamma Babe black scleras, because I think it would look super cool for an alien girl. And after sketching out the initial lines, I can already go in with black matte acrylic paint. This step is pretty self-explanatory and also very satisfying. After blocking out the shapes with black, I now take some colored acrylics and paint her eyeshadow pink and will fill in her iris with teal. And then I decided to sketch out the graphic liner with some white pencil first. This also took quite a while because I tried to make it as symmetrical as I could. After I was satisfied with the shapes, I then take my favorite liquid silver paint and fill in the shapes on her face. I love how shimmery the paint looks and it gives the face such a cool metallic glow. Okay, silver is done, now let's give her some eyebrows. To match them with her hair color, I will sketch them out with a purple pencil first and then fill them in with some purple acrylic paint. Now just some highlights in the eyes are missing. I fill them in with teal and white after sketching them out. For the little star highlight, I decided to glue on a tiny glitter star, so I dot some PVA glue onto the eyes and then place those tiny stars onto them. And then it's time to paint her lashes. This is always the most nerve-wracking part of the face, because you want them to be perfect, but the lines are very delicate. I also decided to paint most of the lashes empty, because I just really like the look of that. And after all lashes had been painted to my liking, I then gloss her lips with the same color changing pigments that I used for her fingernails. Also, how about adding a big rhinestone to her forehead too? Yes, that's so nice. Okay, last step, gloss on her eyes. I apply around 3 to 4 layers of Liquitex high gloss varnish to make the eyes super shiny. And with that sparkles, Gamma Babe is done. Let's see how she looks all together. And here she is, all glamoured up. I'm such a huge fan of these dolls because they look so over the top always. <laughs> Which LOL doll should I do next? Please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much to my Twitch subscribers and patrons. You guys are the very, very best. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video and have a beautiful creative day. Bye!